Awesome, awesome. So I know I was fortunate enough to be in a workshop uh, ran by you, Esther, and yeah. you know I learned I learned a lot about change by attraction. I learned about obs- importance of observation, listening. Uh, you you know, it talked about coaching, consulting, and how that role fits into the modern work work environment. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, this term, change by attraction, and what it means to you? Yeah, well, you know, I have seen so many change efforts where you know change is pushed on people, and people are pushed to change. I mean, if you look at a lot of the traditional um, change, you know, change management sort of methodologies, they often include a plan for overcoming resistance. Uh, and what I have observed is that the resistance actually comes from the pushing, <laughs> and if people weren't weren't didn't feel so pushed, they would not respond that way. Right, because um, it it really clicks into people's need for autonomy, and when they feel like that is threatened, they tend to react. Right, because you know, anytime somebody tells you what to do, it's it's uh, it's a hit against your autonomy. So I I find it useful to think more about how do you nurture change and how do you attract people to the change you want to see. And there are there are tons of ways to do that, right? So that that people become interested in in what you're doing, and then they become part of it. They're no longer you know people who have to be pushed or prodded to do whatever it is you're telling them to do. 